Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back to another Cooking With Me. I should be calling these episodes Cooking With Sweet, maybe. What do you guys think? Cooking With Sweet or Cooking With Gulab? You guys pick. So in today's video, I'm gonna try not to look tired, basically. Um, today, I'm gonna be making Alfredo pasta. I'm gonna be using penne pasta. I'm going to be using some heavy cream. You're supposed to have it out before you use it. So I had it out for like an hour. It's nice and warm a little bit. I have some cream cheese. I have some big hunk of butter. I have some garlic. And I might be using some um, onion powder. I want to add like other seasonings to it, but my son likes it completely white. If it's not a white Alfredo pasta, he's not going to eat it. So I have to keep it white. So I can't really add any like parsley in it. It's just simple. Honestly, don't copy what I'm doing because I'm just kind of making it as I go. It's really not a recipe. I just felt like recording. I'm also gonna be baking it in this dish here, like finishing it off in this pan and then I'm gonna melt some cheese on top and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Um, yeah, I'm out of breath. Yeah, I'm 18 weeks pregnant and I am always tired, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do gotta make dinner so I'm trying not to be tired I'm drinking sparkly ice water orange and mango and my uterus has been stretching yeah it's not comfortable at all And like none of my clothes are fitting me. I'm wearing Bradley's shirt. Like this is his shirt. All my shirts are crop tops. Most of them, like almost all of them. So I have to go shopping for some maternity clothes and I might film when I am. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys over here. Let's smooth this. So I can put the camera over there. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to cut some butter. I'm not sure how much to use because I'm not going to measure anything. It's melting, it's melting. It's so hot here in the kitchen. lights on. I added some lights on. Alright, so while the butter is melting, it's almost melted, I'm gonna add some garlic. Like I said, I'm not measuring. I'm just gonna add, I guess this is like one teaspoon. I'm gonna get a spatula. I'm gonna give it a nice stir. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm feeling, I'm starting to feel pregnant for sure. Like all I want to do is just stay in bed, not leave my house. But obviously I have to, right? And just kind of hide in for the summer. But that's not going to happen, and that's okay. Mom duties, you know. Okay, um, I'm going to add my light cream cheese in now. I'll show you how it looks like. So I added my minced garlic and my butter. I'm going to add some of this in. I'm going to add 
that much and a little bit more because I love cream cheese and this is just light so it's not like it's like oily now I'm just gonna let that melt a bit I have some cold water to keep me hydrated freezer okay I'm gonna start boiling my water for my penne pasta Americans call it pasta and I personally love calling it pasta because it sounds more elegant than pasta pasta sounds so nice pasta I wish we Canadians say pa pasta here but it comes naturally just saying pasta Seriously, it looks, I feel like I'm carrying a watermelon right now. I heard and read online that your second pregnancy, you start showing more. And I definitely am showing. Like, people are noticing that I'm pregnant. Like, when I go pick up my son from his school, people are noticing. Like, and I'm not, like, you know, I'm not even 20 weeks yet. So I'm definitely showing. And I definitely need to go maternity clothes shopping. I'm just stirring here if you're wondering what I'm doing here. But the sad news is there's no maternity clothes where I live. It's all online and I don't want to buy maternity clothes online just in case I don't like the fabric. I don't like the feeling of it. I'm really picky. So I'm thinking just doing my shop being from Lululemon can't go wrong with them they have oversized stuff okay oh my god I definitely need to sit down and so you guys can see it's right here little baby bump okay I'm gonna show you how this looks it looks really good <coughs> Okay, so that's how it looks. It looks lumpy and not that good, but trust me, when I put the um, heavy cream in, it's going to be, once I put the heavy cream in, it's going to be all like liquidy and very good. It's my Easter basket over here. Well, my son's Easter basket. Okay, I think it's time for the whipped cream now. I really want to add black pepper to this, but like I said, I have to keep it white. Like even if my son sees a little bit of parsley, a little bit of green in there, he's not going to eat it. <sighs> like at all. If he sees black pepper, he's not going to eat it. Okay, so I'm going to add, and most likely all of it, it's just heavy cream. I'm going to put it in slowly. You know what, this is like a satisfying part. I'm going to let you guys watch. I'm just going to stir that a little bit. Drippity drops, drippity drops. All right, I'm going to continue to stir this. While I'm stirring, you guys can see my, my background. I have Welch's fruit snacks there, right here. I have Cheez-Its, I don't know if you guys can see that. I have my coffee, my sparkly water. Victor Minecraft cereal. Chris
Christmas lights that I had on for like two years now or three years I have croissants and breads my stand my camera stand all right so this is gonna thicken up I'm gonna let it thicken up while that's thickening up I'm gonna tidy up a little bit and drink some water garlic bread too I can make garlic bread and alfredo pasta go perfect together my water is almost done boiling I'm also adding chicken to this recipe too let me show you It was pre-made. It was from Longo's. It was on sale too. It was $8.99. And then I got it for $4.50. And it's just a chicken breast. Seasoned chicken breast. So we're going to be using that. I'm so happy I don't have to cook my own chicken. This. Oh, let me. I should probably heat it up before I put it in. Yeah, I should probably heat it up in the oven. I like it extra crispy and extra... Um, burnt a bit i like it burnt a bit you know you know what i mean or no no okay yeah i'm definitely gonna put it in the oven like look that's a seasoned chicken breast so i'm gonna put it in the oven put it in the oven for you and me how long does it say yeah, I like that. I like the style of the blackened chicken Alfredo. I'm sure you guys heard of it. It's really good. So I'm going to try to make it like that. Try to make it a little burnt, you know? 350 for how long? Three to five minutes. Okay, I might do 10. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes. My sauce is still thickening up I should probably put onion powder now okay I have to find an onion powder oh it's right here onion powder I should probably put salt too I should probably add all of my seasonings now actually before I put the chicken in the oven and I probably need to sit down after this I need like a stool while I cook now. It's so hard to carry your own weight when you're pregnant. It's so hard. I feel like I'm whining a lot, but hey, I have every right to. I'm creating a baby. I'm creating a human inside my uterus. Ain't easy. Okay, the water is boiled. I'm gonna add salt to it. Not measuring. That should be enough. I'm gonna season my um, Alfredo past Alfredo sauce as well. Not measuring. Stir. I'll taste test that in a bit. Meanwhile. This is going to go in the oven for 350. Oven has been preheating for a while because I knew I was going to use it. Okay, now I'm going to be putting in the penne pasta. Penne pasta. For like 10 minutes. I don't know how much to put in. I'm just going to... me give it a stir okay I'm gonna go sit down for 10 minutes and then I will be back all right I'm back so it's been 10 minutes well it's nine minutes in one minute oven's gonna ring anyways so my elf 
Pareto sauce has been thickened up. Now I'm gonna be adding some Parmesan cheese. I know people hate this kind. They think it's not real Parmesan cheese. They think you should get the regular ones where you grate it yourself. But I have this on hand, okay? So we're just gonna use it. Ow, broke a nail. All right, I'm gonna open the Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese, Italians call it Parmigiano Giano. No, they don't. They don't say it like that at all. I completely butchered it. Okay, I'm gonna add the Parmesan cheese. Why does that have to be so hard to open? Okay. Thanks, Isaac. I already opened it. Thanks for offering. My son's like, I'll help you open it. He's such a gentleman. I love him. He's just in the background watching his videos. He's playing a game, I'm not sure. He's been playing Wobbly Life lately. And um, Poppy Playtime. Okay, that's definitely thickened up. But I'm gonna thicken it up a little bit more and I still have to taste test it. Let's taste test it now. Definitely needs more salt. I also have this Parmesan cheese too. I'm just gonna add it in. Look, a little bit left. Brad says he prefers this. Brad's my husband if you don't know who he is. He prefers this over this Parmesan cheese. And I prefer this one. And the funny thing is, this one's all empty. So I think he likes this one better now. You know? I think he likes it better, secretly. Sorry if it's like dark in here. It is... It is kind of nighttime right now. Okay. I need more salt. Oh yeah, this is nice and creamy. Okay, I need a water break. Let me stir the penne before. So this is done. I'm gonna have to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You guys see like random stickers on the fridge? My son added these random stickers. <laughs> I always get mad at him. Okay, I'm gonna drain the water. Using this. Ooh, it's hot. Or should I wait a bit? I think it's gonna thicken up in the oven as well, so let's do that. And let's take the chicken out now. I honestly forgot about the chicken, I'm not gonna lie. It's not blackened enough. And I don't wanna dry it out either. 
I'll show you guys. Hang on. This fork doesn't want to let go of the thongs. the chicken it looks good but I kind of want it to be more burnt but I think I'm just gonna leave it like that okay so I'm gonna add all right so there's the chicken breast right here I wanted to make it more darker like kind of burnt but I'm just gonna leave it like this. Okay, I'm gonna cut it now. It smells good. So there's two chicken breasts, but I just might just use one. Penne pasta is going to go in here. Perfect fit. I'm going to add the chicken in. I'm going to pour in the sauce now. sure this chicken has black pepper on it so we're gonna keep that a secret all right I'm gonna grate some cheese now there's my lipstick here because I thought we didn't have any cheese, but I have this kind of cheese. So we're just gonna use this one. Use what you have on hand, always. cheese or go home you know always extra cheese might as well what's the point of adding cheese then there you go I think that's enough Ooh, yum okay I'm gonna put this in the oven now all right Alfredo pasta is done here it is
Yum. I'm gonna add some more Parmesan cheese. Mmm, yummy. Yum. Let the chef try, ooh, a piece of chicken. How convenient. I'm honestly not feeling the greatest at all. Like I feel so much pressure on my stomach. Just. I did work out today too, like I did exercise. I went jogging for an hour and then I had to go run some errands and I was on my feet a lot today too. Like I was, you know, cleaning, running, jogging, going to run errands. Um, I didn't really sit down today. I laid down for a bit, but it wasn't long enough. And yeah, it's all right though. Look, I have a chicken on here. This is delicious. Very simple. If you want to follow the recipe, you can, obviously. Um, just don't ask me about measurements because I, as you saw, I didn't measure anything. And it's really good. You know, it's simple and it's very good. Hmm. My son's like, can I get some too? Of course. that's it for now I have a bunch of stuff to tidy up at the background as you can tell it's so messy I'm gonna go serve some to my son he's been waiting so patiently and while he eats this I'm gonna clean up I'm gonna pack some for my husband's lunch tonight he's gonna take some to work I should make some garlic bread with it too, but I'm honestly not feeling the greatest. I need to go lay down. Mm -mm. So good. Alright. Do I have any sauce on my face? Maybe, but oh well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video. Um, let me know if you do decide to make this, how it turned out. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, I might be posting more videos like this. Yeah. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.